Hi guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of the um, things I do to grow out my edges because I've seen a lot of people who are who wear wigs and then they're just like oh they have to slay their edges and then when they slay it they're not really slaying edges they're actually just bringing out some of their hairs to um, use as edges so for those who don't have edges I am going to be sharing with you guys some tips on how to grow your edges and I decided on doing this video because when I took off my last hair I had um, I think it was a crochet I think I had crochet I had a weave on when I took out my weave I lost like over here like all my edges were gone not necessarily just gone not everything was gone but like I lost like a lot of hair on this side and then this side was fine for some reason and um, I didn't really have a lot of hair here and I was just like really sad because my edges are so important to me as much as my eyebrows are important to me and um, yeah so I lost a lot of hair there so I'm just gonna tell you guys what I did to get my hair back as you can see so on to that video <laughs> firstly um, what I just what I started doing was um, washing my hair much more frequently um, normally before I didn't wash my hair like so frequently like normally I would just wash it like every two weeks but cuz cuz I usually put them in braids so um, now I wash my hair every Sunday I wash my hair and I blow dry it and I moisturize my hair and I um, put it back in a bun as it is in now and sometimes I just gel it to slick it back that's what I do I would um, do that every Sunday and I would carry it for the whole week and then when Sunday rolls in again I would just wash my hair and um, do the exact same thing over again and that's what I kept doing and the moisturizers that I always loved to use was I started using um, coconut oil coconut oil really saved my life because um, coconut oil grows it's meant for growing so if you use coconut oil you will definitely see a difference when you start using it and um, get the raw coconut oil the one that's like raw like you can actually see the coconut in your hand and I just put that in my hair and most of the time um, I usually take my blow dryer and um, when it's like really really frozen because sometimes in the house it gets really cold and um, it gets when it gets cold this gets frozen like not necessarily frozen but it gets really really thick and hard I usually take my blow dryer and I just um, melt it and then I take the oil and I put it on my hair and I put it on the back of my hair also because um, if you're caring for the front of your hair you also have to care for the back of your hair also so that's what I did <clears throat> and for the gel that I use I know you're not supposed to use gel on your hair all the time but this gel that I use is really 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 good like this brand is literally bay like I'm just gonna save your life right now and tell you but before I do that I'm just gonna tell you guys to never ever ever use black gel do not use black gel black gel is very very bad for your hair and it's bad for your edges also because even though on the bottle it says it doesn't flake it does flake if it really does um, so black gel is like these protein styling gel it says non flaking super hold and shine non alcoholic this it does flake honey like I've used it before it does flake and when I get to school I put it on my hair when I get to school I see all these like white stuff around here and I have to go to the washroom and put water on it to take it off um this does flake don't use black gel on your hair any type of black gel do not use it on your hair another black gel for example this black gel um it's pro style protein styling gel it's the exact same one as that other one but just in a different bottle this also flake don't use it the gel that i'm going to recommend you guys to use as everybody knows is eco gel um whenever i get the chance to go to toronto or um a beauty supply store I always grab this in a bigger bottle but this time I have a smaller bottle because most of the time it's just me using it my sister does my sister's trying to go natural for some time 
but um, most of the time it's just me using this eco gel and it's a very very good gel and it's like not even expensive it's just $6.99 for all hair types defined adds body and shine no flake no tack anti-itch UV protection and this is all true because this is like literally bay. I don't know how many times I have to say it to you guys. If I have to say it so many times, you know that I'm not lying. This is such a good gel for your hair. And it's what I have on my hair right now. Like even though I have it on, it doesn't really look like there's gel on because it's so good. Like it's invisible gel, it's not black gel. Because with black gel, you can also see the tackiness on your hair when it dries up. You can see the tackiness on your hair. You can even feel it also. And when you're washing your hair off, all you see is just black stuff coming out, which is not good. And when I wash my hair with this, I don't see that. I don't see the gel coming out. Like, even though it's coming out, but I don't have to see it coming out. And it doesn't flake or nothing like that. So that's why this gel is really, really good for your hair. Also, to grow your edges, you have to train your edges. You have to always like make sure sure your edges are moisturized to grow them and always moisturize with coconut oil and um, if you want to purchase a peppermint oil you can also do that peppermint grows also and that's good for your edges you just have to train your hair as well as you're training the rest of your hair because edges also joins in with the hair yes this is for the people that don't have edges that claim they have edges I am making a video for you especially for you guys to grow out your edges okay edges are just as important as your eyebrows baby so this video is for you and I hope you learned something out of it always keep your edges and your hair moisturized because my hair does suck up all the moisturizer I put in it and it does for anybody that stays close to the equator or has been close to the equator so um, because as women of color people from Africa Jamaica anywhere that's sunny and close to the equator our hair tends to suck up all the moisturizers we put in it like if I put coconut oil on my hair I have to carry an like a mini coconut oil to go with me to school. My hair will suck it up and it will be dry. Never ever leave your hair dry. Always make sure your hair is moisturized. Don't add too much because you don't want it to be so greasy. That when someone comes to just run their fingers through your hair, they're like dripping with coconut oil, you feel me? You don't want that. Um, just add a little bit and you'll start noticing results um, like probably like five, six weeks later. That's what happened with me. Like I thought this would never grow. I literally cried when I took out my weave and I didn't have edges. Like I was gonna cry. I was so gonna cry. My mom was like, I should calm down and everything. Cause I thought it wasn't gonna grow back. I really thought it wasn't gonna grow back. Um, so I started using the coconut oil on the daily, like every single day. Before I sleep, I put coconut oil on my hair. When I go to school, I put coconut oil on my hair. In the morning, I put coconut oil on my hair to make sure my hair is always moisturized. So that is definitely the trick. There's really nothing much to it. Um, just use the right gel when you're putting it on your hair because if you're putting coconut oil on your hair and then you're using the wrong gel, you're just killing your process and it's going to take even more longer. Um, they say don't use too much heat on your hair and when you're trying to blow dry your hair always use the cool because my blow dryer is like this this is my blow dryer and it has cold and my blow dryer has cold and here it has hot cool and warm and down here is the on and off button and warm button always use the cool button when you're trying to blow out your hair um, and even if you use the hot button, it doesn't really affect it. Just make sure it's not too direct to your scalp. And that's basically what I did to grow out my edges and it worked for me, as y'all can see. Yes, this is all for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. You can pass this video on to anyone else that doesn't have edges and, you know, they need their edges back. This is what you do and get the right gel, guys. I can't stress this enough. Get the right gel. Equal gel is bait. Everyone's using it. Trust me. Um, coconut oil. Get that. Um, yes. As for the heat side, don't use straightener. Cut out the straightener, please. Do not use the straightener on your hair. I'm telling you guys. 
Don't use straightener on your hair. Blow dryer is okay. Don't use the straightener because the straightener is direct heat to your hair. And when you're relaxing your hair, my sister taught me this, when you're relaxing your hair, don't um, relax. Like when you take out your weave and you're relaxing your hair, don't relax the hairs that has already been relaxed. Always relax your new growth. Your new growth is gonna be like up here and it's gonna be really, really curly and it's gonna look like natural hair. Only relax that. If I have new growth from my last hair, for example, when I take it out and I have new growth, it's usually like up to here. And This is where I stop my relaxer. I just relax from my root to here and I stop. I don't relax out here because this has already been relaxed. Okay, that's what you're supposed to do. That's what you're meant to do and that's what will literally grow your hair even longer and Keep your hair moisturized. So three things we've learned in this video Keep your hair moisturized with coconut oil purchase the eco gel and that's what you're gonna you're gonna use on your hair Always wash your hair on Sundays and pack it up for the rest of the week and rewash on Sunday again and Don't apply direct heat to your hair because that will damage is direct heat is straightener do not apply that to your hair you can use a blow dryer but the blow dryer has to be on the cool setting that's what we've learned in this video and that's what will definitely grow your hair i guarantee you thank you for watching this video and i hope you learned a lot from it um if there are any other questions you can definitely link me up on my social medias follow me on twitter and instagram it's naomi dance and um Add me on Snapchat. It's all going to be somewhere on this video. Bye.